Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to be going over our project, uh, your final project that you're going to be uh, working on in Illustrator. And uh, for your project, you're going to be creating a vector poster. Now the vector poster needs to be based around some kind of uh, IP, intellectual property, whether it be a, a movie or, or a favorite album, a book, or a TV show, or a video game. Uh, something that kind of represents uh, your chosen topic. So uh, let's get started with uh, one of my favorite IPs. So we'll be making a movie poster here together. So first I'm gonna create new, and I actually want a very specific size for this poster. So we're gonna switch the units of measurement over to inches to better suit our printer. And we're gonna set this to 12 by 18 inches. Don't need to make any other changes and we're gonna click uh, create. Okay, and our new canvas here is gonna load up and uh, let's get started with our uh, movie poster and uh, one thing I'm going to try really uh, over here is uh, we're going to be uh, making a lot of swatches for our different colors and we're going to be leaving here them here outside of the artboard uh, just so we can refer back to our colors pretty quickly so let's start out with a, uh, a nice blue here let's go for this color here and let's make a swatch of this blue hold down shift to create a perfect square there and let's grab that and grab our pen tool and let's start by creating the water for our movie poster so we're going to click once with the pen tool we're going to move to our second point. We're going to click a second time and drag out those handles to kind of create a subtle curve here for our seascape. Let's go to the edge of the artboard and let's finish by closing off. Uh, let's go to Control Z there, closing off this first layer of water. Uh, next, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, grab this water that we just drew right here. I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to drag a copy of it up. And let's take this color and darken it slightly. So we'll kind of uh, double click there in the fill color, make a darker color there. And then let's right click on it, transform, and let's reflect it on the vertical. And then right click, arrange, and let's send to back. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we have kind of a, uh, a multi-layer water there with some waves. And uh, let's create a sky now, actually. But first, let's grab that color and let's make a swatch on that color there so we can come back to that if we like. Perfect. Okay, so next let's uh, let's make the sky. So I'm going to uh, grab my rectangle tool here and I am going to drag out some sky just like that. And, but we are gonna assign a gradient to that sky right there. Okay, so let's create a gradient. Let's double click on the top color here and, um, and we'll make that a yellowy there and like yellowy orange, perfect. And let's double click on the bottom color and make that a more of a red. Excellent, so that's a nice little, uh, oops, wreck the gradient there, let's redrag that out. And that's a nice little gradient we have there in the sky. And then let's take that and let's send it back there. Excellent, looks like a nice uh, uh, evening time sky there. Now let's uh, create a setting sun. Um, so let's start by uh, selecting a nice sun color here. Let's grab a yellow. Uh, actually, we probably should get a little bit more of a an orangey color into that. So let's double click this down here. And let's grab a more of a setting sun color. That looks pretty good. And once again, let's make a swatch of that color. Perfect. And uh, let's make an ellipse. And let's drag out an ellipse for our setting sun. I remember, we can have any shapes off the artboard. Those won't show up in our final copy. So let's put the setting sun there. Let's set it behind the waves, but in front of the background. And actually, let's add a little glow effect onto the sun here. So I'm gonna select my sun, effect, stylize. Let's create an outer glow. Uh, I don't want that glow to be black. We want that glow to be kind of a yellowy color there. And uh, let's bump up the opacity and blur it out so it kind of radiates there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we got a setting sun there over the waves. Uh, I'm liking where this is heading. And now let's start on the showpiece for our poster, okay? We're gonna create the boat. Uh, some of you might recognize what movie we're going, poster we're going for yet. Well, actually, probably not. But uh, this boat might give away some of what we're designing, okay? So uh, we've got a new turn waiting for me down there. Let's go and select a color for our boat. Let's try this here. Let's make a swatch just as we had for the others. Looking good. And uh, let's start by creating just a basic shape for our boat like that. How's the sizing gonna be? Oh, it's a bit too big, so let's scale that down a bit. 
That'll be a pretty good rough size for a boat. We can always scale it down more later. Uh, let's add some anchor points with the pen tool so we can make uh, a bit more of a defined hull. Let's add another anchor point there. Let's go to the direct selection tool now. And let's kind of move these over here. Like that. Let's take this up here. And let's take this back. back a little bit more kind of like that <clears throat> excuse me and kind of maybe like that that's looking pretty good looking kind of boaty a bit more of a there we go the bow's looking a little bit better okay it's a good uh, good basic shape here for a boat happy with that and now let's add uh the uh, the wheelhouse here so let's make this a nice uh maybe like a a lighter gray color, something like that. Okay, as always, let's make a swatch for this. Okay, that looks good. Select that color, put our rectangle tool, and let's make kind of like that there. That looks pretty good. And let's make a secondary front portion of that. That. Okay, let's add some more details now uh, to uh, to the wheelhouse here. Let's kind of raise that up. Actually, no, I don't like that. Let's take this here. Let's add another anchor point, maybe. Just add a little bit, a little bit sleeker there on the front. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Let's add a little bit more detail on the uh, on the actual edge of the boat here. So let's uh, let's pick a nice red. Let's make a new swatch of that red there. Perfect. And then let's go to our friend, the pen tool. Actually, we'll just do this with a rectangle. We'll clean it up after. So let's go to that point there. And let's go to our direct selection tool here. Grab this point. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. Oh. Hanging over by a bit, so we gotta fix that. We want this to be a whoops, no, nope, excuse that. Control Z, click on the anchor, and move it so it's intersecting with that previous path. Perfect. Okay, that's looking better. Now let's add another swatch here. Let's go with a darker gray. Line that up. Drag that down. And now let's go to our ellipse tool. And we're actually gonna swap that. And then for the fill, we're going to go for a lighter gray. All right, let's see what we got here. No? Uh, okay, like that. Now let's increase that stroke to three, maybe. And let's drag a second one right there. Excellent. Okay, and actually using those same colors, let's draw a box here. Kind of like that. And then let's draw some lines just to uh, deselect. Draw some lines here. Where's our middle point? There it is. And then where's our middle point of that? And then we'll go one more split there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's add that crow's nest now. So let's go to our rectangle tool. Let's go back and actually select this brown here. Now back to our rectangle tool. And draw this up like that. And then let's select this gray here. Go back to our rectangle tool. And draw this up the side to create a little bit more visual point of interest there. Okay. And now let's select that darker color there. And that'll be for our perch. And then let's make actually a few rungs that they can climb up, so we'll scale those down. Hmm. Probably don't need that many. Let's go there like that. Yeah, it's gonna be equal distance there. And then let's select all three. And
Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with how that has shaped out. And what else could we add to our boat here? No, oh, I know. We need the barrels. So let's actually take this yellow that we used in our sun here. It's actually a nice yellow. So uh, let's go to the rectangle tool and let's create the first of our barrels. So I'm going to start by dragging that out. Go to our selection tool. Let's round these corners here. And wrap a touch more. Good. And then let's uh, select a rectangle again and we'll just take uh, we'll take black that time swap those and cancel that out let's zoom in and then let's hold down the alt and drag that down to create that effect right there yeah it's good okay now let's select that right click group it so we only need one of our barrels here let's take our barrels and drag that down onto the top of the boat scale it down a little bit Take those and send them backwards till we get them behind the cabin there. All right, that is looking pretty good. Well, we need the front of the boat now, so let's select our brown there. And let's create a perch where uh, Quint takes the shot. Direct selection. Let's kind that go a little bit like that. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out. So let's select our entire boat there, right click on it and group it. And then we can take our boat and put it into the water. Let's send it back behind the first wave, but not behind the second, rotate it up a little bit. And now it's kind of sailing off to the setting sun there. Last step is we're going to add some text to kind of identify what our poster is. Um, so I'm going to go to my text tool and uh, let's do a nice uh, white text here. And we're going to type the name of our movie. Okay, let's put that uh, white text. And let's scale that up. And, uh, and let's center that on the page. I'm not a huge fan of that font. Let's see what else we got here. If there's any good built in fonts we have. Uh, with Adobe. That's actually not bad. Um, that's penultimate. I, I do recommend you go on to Defont as, uh, as we've talked about before in class to uh, spend the time and find a, a good font that kind of is kind of fitting, um, fitting for what uh, you're going for here. But um, let's go back to that penultimate. I'm pretty happy with that. Excellent. Let's take that, scale it up a little bit more. Once you're happy with that, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to create an outline, which makes it into a shape, and then center that text. And then we're going to put uh, one more element uh, up here at the top. One of my favorite bits from the movie when they're all sitting below deck there and singing. And uh, we'll include that line from that song up here at the top of the uh, poster indicating the, the journey they've gone on. In the film. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, build there and uh, start thinking about uh, what type of poster you want to create for your final illustrator assignment. And uh, we will see you all later.